Alrighty, so I am, whenever I start a video, Blue always comes over here. Blue, I'm busy. Mommy's working. I am doing a peep into my makeup bag video. Um, this has been highly requested. People, I've gotten like 10 DMs on Instagram asking for this. So I just thought, you know what, let's do it. I've been debating about putting it up because I feel like I am just not a makeup connoisseur. I don't really know a lot about makeup. Um, I just know that I like watching makeup tutorials on YouTube. And I try to attempt them even though they always end up in an epic fail. So this is my bag that I use. Um, I used to have a much bigger one and then I realized that I didn't use half the stuff in it. So these are what I use. Uh, this is what I use on a pretty much a daily basis. I have a bag for my brushes just because I go home so often. I feel like we're constantly either going home or we're going on a vacation or something where I'm needing to put my brushes in some sort of like nice container where they don't get like smushed. Um, but yeah, I just kind of put the brushes in here and kind of call it a day. And then I have my two favorite trusty palettes. This is what I wear when I'm, when I'm, it's what I'm wearing right now on my skin. Um, when I know I'm not really going to be going anywhere, if I'm just doing like errands or grocery shopping or doing, you know, things around the house and I just kind of want to look a little bit more put together, I'll slab some of this on. It's Garnier BB Cream Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector Combination to Oily Skin. I have really oily skin if you guys can't tell. I'm always shiny in my videos. Um, and this is the light medium shade. The other shade is a little bit too dark. And there are a lot, I fluctuate from being like really tan to medium to not being tan at all. And you can always um, bronze up your face with a little bit of bronzer if, it's, if your foundation is too light. And so I just take that on my fingers and I kind of do this and then just place it all over my face. Or if I'm feeling like I want a little bit more full coverage look, I'll take the brush that came in with my mascara kit and I'll use this tip. Um, if I want a little bit more of a full coverage look, I will use um, L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup um, in Neutral Buff Beige N4. Shade that I use pretty much all the time and when I'm really tan, I'll use Caramel Beige W7 in Warm. This looks so tan against. <laughs> I use this in, basically in Maui when I went for my honeymoon. That's basically the only time that I've used this, and I also use it sometimes as just putting it right where my contour is, and then I'll use that as kind of like a natural cream-based contour. Moving on, um, my last foundation is my mascara kit, um, and it looks really messy because I'm just a messy person, but I'm almost out of my contour and my highlight. So my highlight is the um, linen, and then my contour is the stone. Um, and so I'll just, there's, I'll link her website. I don't really want to explain it over the video just because I feel like her website does so much better on how to apply it. I don't use concealer. I would really like to use concealer. I just I don't have any on hand right now, so I haven't been using any, but what I've been loving and I'm almost out of is the Age Rewind Maybelline, um, Instant I, it's the only thing that is on here. It's in the brightener and illuminator. And I'll use this under a, like a triangle underneath my eye. And it's so amazing. And to set all of this, especially my T-zone area, I'll use the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder in Transparent. Moving on to eyeshadow. Let's do eyeshadow primer, shall we? Oh, and to use, to blend all of that, I don't bring it with me, but I have a beauty blender. So I'll um, blend out the, especially with the mascara one, um, I'll use the this one for the linen, for the, um, for the lighter color, and I'll use this as a contour to buff that out. I'll leave it on there as I just like set it in. I won't blend anything in, and then I'll use a wet beauty blender and then blend everything in, and it's like super flawless. Um, shadow primer. I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And it's amazing because my eyes have a lot of veins in them, my eyelids do, and they're also like a tint darker than my regular skin color. So even when I'm doing like a really basic, like everyday look, like today, I'll slab a little bit of this on 
just a teeny bit goes a long way, by the way. Um, and it'll kind of neutralize everything and make me like kind of look a little bit more awake. Now, moving on to my favorite eyeshadows. I have a lot. So I have a lot of little combinations that I use. But my favorite all-time palette is the Stella in the Light palette. Um, and these are the colors that it has. So you can tell they're just all really neutral, um, except for the blue right here. As you can tell, I've never really used that one. Um, but to shade in my, eye sh my eyebrows, I use the color Sandstone with just a small angled brush. I think it's from Shaney Cosmetics. Oop, just dropped a brush. It's from Shamey Cosmetics, and it's just a small little angled brush, as you can tell. I used to use the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I ran out, and so I need to go run to Sephora and get one um, to fill it in as well, my eyebrows. Um, but for my everyday look, I use this brush from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I use the, this end of it. Um, and then I use Bliss from the Stella palette, and I just put, dab that on, put it right into my crease, and then sometimes I leave it just at that. Um, if I'm going out and I kind of want to do a little bit more of a fun look, I'll use Kitten um, on my lower lid, and kind of in the inner tear duct, and then um, above, right below my brow bone. Um, Bear is another really pretty one, so I use Bear sometimes mixed with Bliss for a very matte look. What I have on right now is a little bit of the sunset color, just like barely anything on just on my lower um, lid and then I just kind of like blend a little bit of bliss into my crease and then I put just a coat of mascara on. A MAC and it's Sable, Saddle, not Sable, Saddle. It is the prettiest, it reminds me of Buck from the first Naked. Um, palette by Urban Decay and it's just the prettiest matte brown color that goes with everything. It really can deepen your crease color as well so if you have like a neutral crease color in your crease and you kind of want to deepen it up and get a little bit more of a dramatic look this is perfect. I also have one more favorite. It's by Bare Minerals. I've had this one forever. Um, it's Sex Kitten and I can't really like show you the actual color or else it'll spill. I mean, yep, just spilled on my couch. It's okay. I'll clean it up. But that's kind of what it looks like. That's what it looks like on my hand. So you can tell it's like a very goldy, shimmery, bronzed, almost has a little tint of like copper in it. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'll use that in my crease. Um, blend it in my crease and then use kind of like a matte color in my on my lower lid so it's not like shimmer city you know what I mean it's never a good look on anyone's my eyeliner I usually don't wear a lot of eyeliner I used to but I've kind of gotten into just the bare look of just having mascara on so what I use for eyeliner if I'm wanting to like I'm going on a date night or if I want to look a little bit more like but when I have a little bit more of a dramatic look is I'll use the Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner in 100% black. And that's what it looks like. And I just lost a lot of light because it just got really cloudy outside. <laughs> for mascara, I use my good old faithful and true L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Blackest Black. I also like L'Oreal Telescopic for a little bit more like spider looking lashes. But this is really good for just like, I don't know, like, <laughs> um, this is my Laura Mercier Golden Mosaic Summer Block, um, bronzing powder, I guess. <laughs> but, um, I use this, obviously this color copper color is almost completely out but just blending it all together with either I use two brushes depending on the look if I want a more dramatic look I'll use this one this is my pro angled brush number 49 from Sephora because um, it's very it's a very precise line if you know what I mean um, I'll use this brush if I'm wanting more of like a blended um, kind of just all over bronzy look, I'll use my stippling brush, Sonia or Sonia Kashuk or whatever her name is from Target. I 
this is so old and it doesn't even have the name on it anymore. But this is what it looks like. It's just a regular sipping brush. That's actually what I have on right now is this one. Okay, moving on. Super orgasm. Sorry about using that term. This is what it looks like. This is my tapered brush from Bare Minerals. It's just a little blush brush. I like this one because it's not very big and it's very precise. So I can put it exactly where I want it. What I have on right now is Bobbi Brown blush in pale pink number nine. Very pink and it looks like why in the world would anyone ever buy this? You guys don't even understand. It's what I have right now on my cheeks. It's like you can barely tell I have anything on. Especially right now. It's the prettiest pink color ever, basically. It's really good in the summer. It's really, it looks really good with a tan. And it mixes really well with the golden mosaic um, bronzer that I have. And if I'm not using this for my highlight, I will use the Girl Meets Pearl um, Illuminator on my um, cheekbones to really just give that extra oomph. Let's see if you guys can see. Nope, you can't. Anyway. This is amazing. This is by Benefit. Uh, it, I think that's it, guys. Yeah, because, I mean, I have other things, but those are pretty much what I use on, like, date nights, everyday thing. I'm doing, like, a really dramatic, like, look for, like, some sort of event or something that I'm going to. I'll usually get that done by someone, or I'll spend a lot of time just, like, mixing colors and, like, doing random stuff. But that's a little bit of a look, peek, sneak peek look into my makeup bags. I think I'm gonna ask for my birthday. It was either like a two day trip somewhere or a better camera. I think I know what I'm choosing. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I don't know why. Give it a thumbs up, everyone. <laughs> grab hands um let me know because like I said before when you thumbs up the video it doesn't help my um analytics it doesn't help my YouTube channel growth at all it literally just helps me know that you liked it and that I will continue to be producing content that you guys like because um I'm not doing this for you I'm doing it for everyone else right anyway I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time